<laughs> All right, let's move on to our next email today. I'm just stirring what's, the pot. What's next? <laughs> All right, next up is from Edwin Maker. He says, hi, John and Rob. I actually got turned on to Up in the Air because I heard you talk about it a while ago, and I loved it. It's awesome. So good. Mm -hmm. Now Jason Reitman is directing a Ghostbusters movie. I think this is amazing, and I couldn't think of a better guy to direct it. I also heard that this isn't isn't going to be connected to the 2016 movie. I thought it was okay, but most people hated it. Still, do you think this is a good idea to move away from that remake? Thanks, and may, be the, and may the filthy be with you always. <laughs> All right, Robert, what do you think um, about the son of the director of the original doing this Ghostbusters? Well, I go back to the old Superman mythology. You mm -hmm. know, the father becomes the son, the son becomes the mm -hmm. father. It's kind of neat. I think it's kind of neat that Jason Reitman's going to direct Ghostbusters 3. I mean, he certainly has somebody he can turn to and say, Dad, how do you make a good Ghostbusters movie? And his dad's producing it, by the way. And, and, and his dad's <laughs> producing it. And I think, look, why not? I mean, like he said in an interview recently, uh, probably yesterday I read it, he said he was the first Ghostbusters fan. He was on the set when he was like six years old. I, I think it's terrific. I mean, I look, I just want to see a great Ghostbusters movie. I would love to see Bill Murray come back. And they said there's going to be new characters, and it's going to be in continuity. So it the first Ghostbusters were set in the 80s. By the way, Ghostbusters 2 came out in 89. Yes, it did. So Ghostbusters 2 is also 30 years old. So we're 30 years on. We get the Ghostbusters coming back. What happens to, to Peter Venkman late in his life? Is he still chasing ghosts or is he... Is he a disciple of hell? Did Goza the Gozerian come back and possess him? I think it's great. There's a couple things to keep in mind here, though. A couple things to, to, to note here. They never said that the original cast was coming back. They No, no, they no. did not. They did say it is a continuation building off the same history as yes. the original Ghostbusters. So, remember years ago there were rumors that of there being a new Ghostbusters team in that shared cinematic universe, but it would be it was going to be like Seth Rogen right. and a bunch of other guys. So, it could be that... It could be actually getting the surviving members back together. Dan Aykroyd, Bill Murray. I know Dan Aykroyd would love that. I don't know if Bill Murray would, but but clearly he's got to be on board. Son, there's something poetically beautiful about Ivan Reitman's son. I think so. And by the way, Ivan Reitman's son may very well be a better director than Ivan Reitman. I mean, when you look at some of the films that Jason Reitman has directed, check some of these out. He did Tully this year. One of the most underappreciated movies of 2018 yep. was Tully. That movie was beautiful. He did the aforementioned Up in the Air that got Oscar buzz. He got Juno, which won a couple of Academy Awards. One of my favorites of his is Thank You for Smoking so good. with Aaron so good. Eckhart. That movie is brilliant. Yep. Jason Reitman is a force of a director. He's not just his dad's kid. He is his own director. He's a wonderful director. And having him come on board, forget that he's related to Ivan. Just having a Jason Reitman come on board to do a new Ghostbusters, I think is great. But you add on top of that the lineage and the fact that Ivan Reitman, the creator of the originals, is going to be plugged into this as a producer along with his son as well, is also great. A couple of interesting things also to note about this. This ain't going to be you know, Matt Reeves' Batman that we got to wait till 2031 for. Right. They're saying they could go into production this summer for this movie to hit theaters in 2020. They have been keeping this thing ridiculously under wraps. And by the way, Sony's on a bit of a roll. Right. Sony's on a roll right now. And look, I was one of the few people that I liked the 2016 Ghostbusters. I had some real issues with it. But at the end of the day, I came out. I remember I saw it with John Schnapp. We, the two of us saw it together. We walked out. I was like, that was pretty funny. Right. It was pretty funny. It was, it was okay. A lot of people hated it, but I didn't think it was great. And it certainly had its issues. But I thought it was all right. But I do think moving on from that and going back to the world of the original Ghostbusters at this point is probably absolutely the right thing to do. Well, I, I keep thinking I hark back to Creed. I look, at, I look at Creed. How do you reinvent the Rocky franchise? You have a totally new character in Adonis Creed. You have a new director who loves the franchise, yeah. loves the Rocky franchise, tells a new story, but includes the original Connects characters. Connects it to the past. Connects it, yeah. and it, it, it's not, the focus was not on Rocky Balboa. It was on Adonis Creed, and, and it, a, a, a worthy, beautiful uh, film that caresses into a long-standing 40-year-old-plus franchise and if they did the same thing, I mean, not exactly the same, but if they approach a new Ghostbusters like that, it could be wonderful. I just find you're always looking for excuses to use the word caresses in your statement. I don't know why, but I've noticed that. I'm on to you. 